Hi Aquarius, it's Elle here to do a new love reading. So we're going to see if we have new love coming in for the Aquarius Collective. Um, let's get into it. Thank you God for blessing the Aquarius with a clear, concise message. Um, let's get into it. Let's see. All links are below if you need to get in contact with me. So I asked the question, is new love coming in for the Aquarius? Three of Pentacles. Very nice. Yes. Um, someone that, it, you know, it, the universe could be blessing you with because this talks about universal energy, feminine, the feminine energy, masculine energy. So therefore, it's, you guys are working in tandem together. Um, life is going to come into a more rhythmic a vibe for you Aquarius where it just works and somebody's also going to feel like the relationship with you just works okay because the universe is holding you two together and also bringing you two together um is this a new person is this a new person because I know sometimes the past can show up all right is this a new person is this three of pentacles a new person for the Aquarius. Is this three of pentacles, a new person? Very nice. Ace of cups. You do have new, um, new energy here, Aquarius. Um, but try not to be stuck in the past. Try not to be clingy. Once you do find your person, try not to think negatively about what this person wants from you. Um, try to be as open as possible. So that intimacy can happen between the two of you, vulnerability. Um, so that somebody feels like there is more, you know, between you two than just maybe physical or just, you know, um, likeness. All right. Let's see. Um, the will of fortune and the two of pentacles. So it just seems like, um, this could be a soulmate that comes into your life. Things are going to line up to where it just makes sense. Also, this person is going to prove to you also um, that you can trust them. The, the element of trust. Um, you should give them your trust. You're going to feel like they're the one and they're going to feel like you're the one. Of course, initially, you just don't know. You just have to keep showing up, right? Um with the full card here. So it says you'll feel like this person is the one, but you're just not sure of where the relationship is going. Um, but it will feel good. It'll feel fun. Um, the sex could even be good or great for some of you. Um, this looks really good, Aquarius, especially for those who want to have new love. Is there any advice for the Aquarius in terms of this new love? advice for the Aquarius advice for the Aquarius is there advice for the okay the ten of wands um make sure you're you you know where you want this relationship to go make sure you're intentional make sure you speak what your intentions are with the ten of wands also um you know don't don't take this person for granted something about this person could be different different from your usual type in terms of who you date or yeah you know who you normally give time or energy effort to yeah like maybe the two of swords here um don't be indecisive be willing to compromise focus on negotiation everything is not you know your way or the highway focus on um you know, weighing the pros and the cons of this situation, compromise also. It's not a power struggle. It shouldn't be a power struggle. This is the advice for you, Aquarius. If you feel like it's a power struggle, like, oh, you know, they're trying to make me do, or I'm trying to make them do, um, neither one of us wants to give, then maybe you might be coming into the connection, you know, um, maybe with the chip on your shoulder, something you, you can't see, the two of swords. Don't be rigid. Don't be indecisive. What's the advice for the Aquarius? Don't be so quick to cut off people just because every, you know, um, yeah. Be romantic. Be more romantic. Page of Cups. Be emotionally mature. Um, speak your feelings. 
change your perspective and your philosophy about relationships. You just have to kind of learn how to go with the flow. Everything doesn't need to be so defined. What's the future energy for the Aquarius moving forward in love with this new love? What's the future energy between the Aquarius and their new love? Thoughts. So this person is going to do a lot of thinking about you. You're going to be heavily on their heart and their mind. This could also be somebody from your past, somebody you left in the past. They could be thinking about you. All of a sudden, things are going to get go well for you with the sudden wealth here. So as you have this new love, you may have somebody trying to resurface. Wow, I knew it was coming out. You could marry this person, especially if you you do, if you come up or you show up differently in this relationship, Aquarius, if you really just kind of go with the flow. And, and I know that is not an Aquarius thing. Uh, we are the flow, you know, we tell you, but, it, but we're not domineering, but it's more so, it's a subtle, um, it's a subtle dominance. <laughs> um, you could marry this person, Aquarius, okay? And it could just come out of nowhere. But the cards want you to know that maybe you're just going to have to go with the flow. And this this past person is going to be devastated um, because you left them in the past. And they're going to be, you know, in despair. They're going to be devastated, you know? Wow. Um, and this new love could be... Um, somebody who has their shit together could be a wealthy man. This always comes out for you guys. Um, and there's somebody else here who wants you to hear them out. Or they want to come in and cause confusion. I don't think they have anything to offer you. But definitely they want to cause confusion. What do the soulmate cards have to tell the Aquarius about this new love? Aquarius and their new love. What is the soulmate cards? Very nice. You will meet your soulmate when the time is right. Can't make it up. This is a this is very nice, Aquarius. Um, we have to tell the Aquarius. Um, don't be afraid of losing someone who doesn't want you. So Aquarius, put that old person in the past is done. Don't be afraid to lose them. They act like they didn't want you. Now, when you get somebody and you you're nearing marriage, they want to show back up. Uh, wow, you are on your way to meeting your true love, Aquarius. True love, soulmate. Wow, and then you have, you are moving on to a steady and reliable path. And then you have pathway here with marriage that came out together. So you're moving into marriage, Aquarius. If you just leave this person in the dust, honey, because they don't want anything but to disturb you. And I know it'll, it'll feed your ego and maybe even your emotional space for them to show back up and act as if they want to fight for you and they want the relationship and they want to do right. But the operative word there is act. Act. Yeah, it will be an act. They will sabotage what you have going on and then leave you. And then you'll be left with n nothing, no one. So don't let this person come back and sabotage your your true happiness because you're moving on to a, a steady and reliable path. You're going to meet your soulmate, soulmate when the time is right. And um, you're on your way to meeting true love. So Aquarius, I hope that this resonates for each and every person who is looking to meet someone new, meet someone true, a true love. And if you want to know if this energy is for you, you can get your own personal reading. Go ahead and book at the website level. You can also ask a question or two by texting it to the number below. Catch me live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday night, 9.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Thank you, Aquarius. Many blessings to you. Take care.